I'm almost positive either Ghost Galaxies or Christian Peterson. One of the two is trying to kill me. All right, what's going on, everybody? I am the one, the only, the W-O-O-K-I-E, joined here again by no one. That's right, nobody's here with me today, unfortunately. Everybody's busy, but we did get a new little tidbit of news the Seeker of Dex. So something had come out. Well, a lot of people had said it, and I'm going to try to put it on the screen now. Um, this was coming from one of the comments under it that was Y5 Playmats and the 420 Pledge. When the community has made it abundantly clear it doesn't want or need them. What a waste of money, shipping costs, carbon footprint, and community support. All the great traction was solid communication to us, then ignoring us. I think you've lost a certain amount of funding and effective feedback in terms of purchase that you so craved and set out to establish via this campaign. What is the first rule of marketing? Listening to your audience. However, I'm not 100% sure if that's the first rule of marketing, but either way, they came back and they did listen. We did talk a little bit about this uh, on the Patreon episode that we had released. If you want to listen to that, you can go over to patreon.com. For as little as five bucks a month, you can get all the Patreon episodes, early stuff, all that fun jazz. This isn't a Patreon video, so we're going to get into it right off the back. So they said that they, you know, they had heard us and six wins of exchange decks, six wins of exchange decks. That's what you're going to get for $65. They're retailing this at $77.94. Uh, now, I don't know... See, still, and I had said it in our uh, last video, that I would like to have seen a tier below the $50 tier, like a $30 or a $40 tier. I don't know why those numbers stick in my head. I'd even like to have maybe seen a $20 tier. Um, those numbers just stick in my head. Those are very easily attainable, like, dollar amounts for somebody to be like, I got 20 bucks. Let me throw them $20 and get a couple decks, right? Um, Like, I don't know, like... That just, I feel like they needed a smaller tier, um, and then they could have, like, a big home run tier that was, like, $1,500 or something as such. You know, something, like, really big. Um, I, I really feel like that with the ability to create decks, like, having the ability, like, oh, you can only get three. Like, literally, we told you on the show, hey, like, literally people will just shove money at this. If you can name decks and people would shove even more money at this if you could like maybe choose the houses. So I think there's still a lot. We don't know all the stretch goals and all that jazz. So maybe there's a lot of other goals in there that we don't know about yet. We'll know on the 9th, September 9th, the full campaign, I believe, is being released. Uh, but again, I'd, I'd like to see one more tier, one level down, maybe in that, you know, 20 30 40 dollar range i don't know why like 50 just seems like too much and like maybe 20 is too little so maybe in that 30 dollar range and i'd like to see one more like big cahoots right like 1500 dollars. name your decks name your houses right you get a you get a box of decks with houses i don't know why they limited it to three play mats play mats play mats if you're into that sort of thing you got tons of play mats but Keyforge has always done playmats, like, and not only always done playmats, they've done a lot of playmats. We all have three, four, five, six, seven playmats that right now just aren't doing anything. They are literally just sitting there. I use one playmat. I probably have a dozen of them. I don't need any more playmats. And if you're into the vinyl figures, hey, that's cool too. Again, we talked about this on the Patreon episode, but the vinyl figures don't do anything for me. For me, there's no incentive to go beyond, like, maybe that $150 mark. Uh, getting two vinyl figures just doesn't do it. Like, I'm not in for that. And then three custom playmats. Like, you can get a custom playmat anywhere. You can get custom sleeves anywhere. You can go uh, to inkedgaming.com and, and kind of make whatever you want. If you have Photoshop and a dream, you can do it. So, playmats and, like, little knickknacks... I don't know if those are the thing that are going to get a lot of people back in. Being able to name things, being able to choose things, and being able to do things might be, right? Like, the vinyl figures are cool and all, but, like, really the only thing you're going to use is the game tokens, right? You're, you really are the keys. 
right? That's probably the only thing you're going to use out of those. Like, not very often are you going to be able to bust them out. And then not only that holding one to the much higher tier, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the description or in the comment section down below. What should they have done? Would you like to see a higher tier that allows you to maybe pick more decks with more names or maybe pick a house? Would you like to also see a lower tier? And maybe in that, you know, $30 to $40 range. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell share this to all your friends so we can keep keyforge alive <laughs>